Welcome to Rockstar Productions, where it is once again time to switch it up and check out the newest releases in the Nintendo eShop for the Switch for July the 16th to the 22nd, 2018. Hello and welcome to Rock Solid Productions. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, that way each and every time we do upload new content, you are kept up to date. And if you hit that bell notification, you get these handy notifications via your smartphone or your tablet or whatever devices that you use to let you know that we do have new content up and ready to rock and roll. Switch It Up is our weekly look inside the Nintendo eShop. And this week we have 25, well, 24 and a half new releases. We'll get actually 23 and a half. We'll get to that in a moment. But there's no time like the present, so let's get started with Hand of Fate 2. This is $29.99 and includes 150 Nintendo eShop coins. This, the best way I can describe it, is it's like an interactive Dungeons & Dragons um, card-based game. But instead of having the cards, you actually play the game. Hand of Fate 2 is a dungeon crawler set in a world of dark fantasy. You'll have to master a living board game where every stage of the adventure is drawn from a deck of legendary encounters chosen by you, just like Dungeons & Dragons. Choose wisely, your opponent, the enigmatic dealer, will pull no punches as he scrapes you into the instruments of his revenge. A lot of ways this dealer reminds me almost like the arms dealer in Resident Evil 4. What you buying? What you selling? The table has changed, but the stakes remain the same life or death in this one player card based RPG game. Again, 30 bucks, a little bit on the high side, but if you like that that card style, I'd even say like a Magic the Gathering, something that you may definitely want to check out. Next up, Adventure Time Pirates of the Intridian. Uh, this is $39.99. You get 200 Nintendo eShop coins. Pretty sure this is also getting a physical release as well. And one of the neat things about it is the animation looks like it's straight out of the cartoon itself. Ahoy, the land of ooze is underwater and it's up to Finn and Jake to find out why. Join our heroes as they explore the high seas, search for hidden clues, interrogate shady suspects, and fight pirates to solve the mystery and save their waterlogged world in this one-player game. Now... Not seeing a whole lot of details on it. I believe it's more of a uh, an action-adventure RPG with some fighting characteristics to it, too. Kind of wish there was a little bit more detail here. I have to admit, I've never watched a single episode of Adventure Time. I know people have told me I need to, that I would love it, but I just haven't. Now, Let's Sing 2018, there's actually two different versions. There's this one here and this one here. And the difference is this is a, a bundle, more of a premium edition, where this is the standard edition. And in Let's Sing 2018, it reminds me of like the karaoke hero or things like that that used to be available for the Wii, the Wii U, the PlayStation 3, early on in the PlayStation 4. In the standard version, you get 30 top tracks, including the Chainsmokers, Lucas Graham, Charlie Puth, Nash featuring Olivia O'Brien, Queen, Kygo featuring Parson James and One Republic, and a whole lot more. There's different rewarding gameplay elements where you can beat your high score, collect avatars, and unlock music certification records. There are four different challenging game modes. You can also download additional song packs so you can really expand what this provides for you. And for the most part, that's what the bundle provides for you is you actually get the Party Classic Songs Pack, the best of the 80s chart hits, uh, party Classics, Legendary Hits uh, Song Pack, and more. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. They're basically saving you $5 if you buy the bundle. Now the question that I have is there's no microphone readily available for the Switch. So I don't know how gameplay on this is quite supposed to work. Uh, but that is something that's one of the 23 and a half versus 25 that I mentioned at the intro. Uh, but that is Let's Sing 2018. Now, Mugsters actually looks like a lot of fun. It's $14.99, and this one comes out on the 17th. Uh, all of them up to this date, sorry, didn't mention, these are all coming out on the 17th. In Mugsters, aliens have taken over the planet and enslaved humanity. Only you have the know-how to drive back the dastardly threat, free your fellow Earthlings, and save the world. Mugsters is a physics-based, supercharged action-packed puzzler with sand box levels where you need to outrun, outmaneuver, and outsmart your enemies by experimenting with different vehicles, environmental traps, and even explosives. 
Mugsters is focused on the player's creativity where you need to break out prisoners, collect the crystals, and get the heck out of Dodge any way you can. It features fast-paced action, and you can experiment with physics-based sandbox environment where you can complete your objectives as you see fit and throw in a few exploding barrels for good measure, too. There's more than 30 types of vehicles at your disposal. You can ram, lance, shred, and shoot your way to freedom as you suck it to these extraterrestrial terrors. And it takes brains to survive these hostile lands. Use a mixture of explosives, traps, and vehicles to save the humans, collect crystals, and fly the hell out of here. Just try not to run yourself over. There's even a multiplayer mode where you can play one or two player. This just looks like silly fun. The graphics are kind of dumbed down, but I think we're kind of getting to the point of less and less return on graphics fidelity where it's all about the gameplay. And this just looks like it's stupid, silly fun. This is Mugsters, and it's from Team 17, the same group that brought you ukulele. So that is a really cool little bit of trivia there too. $14.99 comes out on the 17th. Now, the last one coming out on the 17th, this is Tuhu Genso Wanderers Reloaded, and this is $49.99, and you can set out on an entirely new adventure in this four-character game. In this role-playing game, you'll set out on an all-new adventure with Rimu, Marissa, Sane, and more of your favorite Tuhu characters. The land of Gensokyo is once again plunging into darkness as a new mystery unfolds in this one-player Japanese RPG game. Again, not a whole lot of detail here. I kind of wish, I don't know what's going on, if it's the developers or Nintendo, but I really wish that they were adding more information here. Uh, and again, we have the bundle for Let's Sing 2018, and that wraps up everything coming out on the 17th. Now, starting on the 18th, you have Vertical Strike Endless Challenge, and the cool thing about this is if you pre-purchase it, it's actually 10% off. It's normally $4.99. You get it for only $4.49, and uh, this really reminds me of... Um, Afterburner on the Sega Genesis and in the arcade, but updated with modern aircraft for you to dogfight and battle it out with. You can even attack battleships in the air and outfit your plane as you see fit. You'll be able to take advantage of the myriad of weapons combinations at your disposal and achieve dangerously high levels of maneuverability by disabling your alpha limiter to spear your way through waves of enemy attacks. In arcade mode anti-air, you'll shoot down enemy fighters in this airborne battle mode and you need to do whatever it takes to dominate the skies, Top Gun style. In anti-ship mode, you'll send enemy ships to the bottom of the ocean to Davy Jones locker. You need to evade heavy cannon fire and swoop in to attack. Combine thrust vectoring with the AOA Alpha Limiter to experience airborne combat maneuvering like never before. And you can harness the power of next generation combat maneuvering to take even the most formidable enemy right out of the skies. Take out oncoming enemy missiles with a barrage of bullets from your 20 millimeter cannons. Use your 37 millimeter anti-tank guns to turn both enemy tanks and ships into a coarse gritty gray mist or deploy whatever battle strategy works best for you. You can freely combine a vast array of weapons and take to the sky like a boss. You can even take screenshots and post your high scores online for $4.49 if you pre-order $4.99 normally. Uh, this just looks like a silly fun aerial combat game. Again, uh, Ace Combat would be another one, but for me, this reminds me of Afterburner updated for uh, the new century. This is Vertical Strike Endless Challenge, comes out on the 18th, as does one of the more odd games this week. This is The Moose Man, and this is $6.29, and you also get 32 Nintendo eShop coins. In this game, you play as the Moose Man, and you have the ability to see all that is hidden to the mortal eye. You are about to visit three layers of this universe. The first one is the lower world, where the spirits of the dead reside. Welcome to the mysterious world of ancient myth based on finno yurgit culture of bygone pagan time. A long time ago, but not in a galaxy far, far away, the world was created out of an eggshell by a god named Yen. In the murky depths of the endless ocean, the lower world was born, the middle world was made for the men to dwell, and the upper world was where the ancient Ancient gods would reside. Multitudes of spirits dwell among the layers of the creation, guarding their secrets in the dark. Embark on a journey through all the worlds of ancient myth, find artifacts of Chud tribes, and solve all the mysteries of finno yurgic tales. You'll explore the worlds inspired by perm animal style, dive into the deep atmosphere of folk comey music, meet long forgotten gods and spirits, learn the ancient myths of finno yurgic tribes. Don't expect an easy journey either, as there are lots of riddles that you need to fight and solve in the dark. Unlock 
unlock new abilities and use them to get to the upper world and find all the artifacts that are hidden from the mortal eye. 629, neat sort of animation style. Don't know that it's for me, however. Animal Rivals, the Nintendo Switch Edition, also comes out on the 18th, and this one is $3.99. And this is one of those just silly, stupid sort of turn your brain off and have fun. Again, wish there was a little bit more detail here, but with Animal Rivals, it's a crazy party game for up to four players, different characters and game modes, lots of stages and tons of fun, and many different unlockable costumes. So Animal Rivals, Rivals $3.99. Now on the 19th comes Pool Panic, and this is $14.99. You do get 75 Nintendo eShop coins, and this is a really twisted, warped, unique look at the game of billiards. In Pool Panic, you'll free your billiards from the table and unleashes it onto a world where everything from the jungles and desert to cities and swamps is a living pool or billiards game. You already know that sinking eight balls is the ultimate goal, but can you succeed while contending with monster balls chasing you or ballerina balls leaping away from your well-aimed shots? ACDC needs to have some music in here because I like big balls. Take on the role of the mischievous, dare we say, oblivious cue ball in Pool Panic's unique world comprised of over 100 levels while enjoying a single player campaign or you can even invite your friends to join you in a multiplayer panic. With a local multiplayer you can play with up to four players with multiple control modes supported including two players on a single Nintendo Switch using a single Joy-Con controller per player. Panic Mode puts your pool skills against the clock, but don't forget that all the other balls are just as animated and alive as you, so different balls will react differently to hits. My balls always react differently to different hits, too. Discover the unique characteristics of dozens of different balls and the strategies required to pot them, as even as they use their unique skills to try to thwart your efforts. You'll fight against swap monsters, light up a derelict lighthouse, battle a biker gang, puke on a pirate ship, free zombie balls after raising the dead, foil a bank heist, and even joust. Seriously, you can ride a horse ball and joust. White cue balls such as yourself can use a little pizzazz, so enjoy trying the 80 plus different hats you're able to steal from other balls throughout the game. We're talking balls here, folks. Cue balls. This is Pool Panic, $14.99. Again, looks silly fun. Now, Sausage Sports Club is uh, $15, and you get 75 Nintendo eShop coins. I'm a little disappointed that there's no Les Claypool mentioned in this with the sausage reference. Sausage Sports Club is a physics game all about floppy animals playing sports, where you can play solo or couch co-op with up to four friends in adventure mode. Compete, make friends, and explore the toy-filled overworld as you make your way through a season of the hit reality show, Sausage Sports Club. If you're having a party perfect, up to eight players can compete or play together in free play any way you play. You'll unlock tons of customizations as far as skins, hats, and characters. $15 here for the Sausage Sports Club. Frost comes out on the 19th as well. It is currently 20% off up until the day before that it releases, and then it will be $12.99. It's $10.39 as of right now. Frost is a deck-building solo survival card game set on a harsh frozen world ravaged by a lethal storm. You must lead a group of nomads in search of the refuge, a haven away from the Frost's icy grip. As well as the unrelenting threat of the Frost, your arduous trek will be fraught with many dangers such as wolves, cannibals, hunger, and fatigue. I just hope you don't die of dysentery. Manage your cars wisely to stay alive and make it all the way to the refuge. This challenging survival deck building gameplay requires anticipation, strategy, and memory. There are dozens of cards to discover, and card types include resources, weapons, ideas, dangers, and regions in an intriguing and immersive world with beautiful hand-drawn artwork, hours of gameplay with difficulty modes, endless modes, scenarios, and new cards to try to unlock as you encounter many different characters and make use of each and every one of their abilities. This is Frost coming out on the 19th. Now, coming out on the 19th too, this is Tanzia, which I figured Smash JT would probably be all over. This is $16.99, Jeff Tan, it's his, anyways. $16.99, you get 85 Nintendo eShop coins. In Tanzia, years ago, your grandfather disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Before leaving, he sent you into hiding on your volcano island. Now older, you've been set free by your guardian and mentor, Abenaki, to follow the mystery. But is Abenaki telling you 
everything. Tansy is a single player RPG that combines fast paced strategic combat with elements of favorite classic RPGs in an open 3D world that is full of a ton of monsters. No Reloaded Heroes, this one is $9.99, you get 50 Nintendo eShop coins. In this chaotic co-op party shooter, up to four different players can play as a team, fighting your way through randomly generated rooms, filled with a variety of enemies, picking up insane Magnatech guns all along the way. Shooting stuff is simple and hilarious, but only the best of teams can make it all the way back to the evil they've created. Almost anyone can play No Reload Heroes, and they claim that it has just a five second learning curve. So that's perfect from the casual player to the the seasoned gamer. No matter how many times someone dies, they can always be revived as long as at least one of you stays alive. On the higher levels, it will not be so easy. Still, you only have a couple of buttons that you need to use, and best of all, you don't need to reload. It's simple and intense for laugh out loud fun. You get over 70 unique weapons, randomly generated levels, 43 enemy types, and three bosses will give you different gameplay experience every time you pick up the controller. There's no way you could meet every type of enemy during one session. They've made sure of that. Can you get through the maze-like construction and defeat the evil AI you created? You need to work as a team to stay alive, or it's back to the bottom floor for you. You can squeeze onto a couch with your buddies for a local co-op, and if someone's late, they can use the hot join to jump in at any point in time. No Reload Heroes is paced for conversation and designed for social situations like parties and game nights, as their goal here is to kind of help bring people together, not just the hardcore gamer, but the casual gamer too. For $9.99, I think I'm going to probably give this one a shot myself. Next up is the Lost Phone Stories, and I know for most millennials, this will put them, you know, give them a shakes or whatnot so that they don't have their phone for five seconds. Shot at millennials from a Gen Xer. Deal with it. <laughs> $9.99 and you get 50 Nintendo eShop coins. The Lost Phone games are all about exploring the intimacy of an unknown person whose phone you've happened to find. They're designed as a narrative investigation where you must piece together elements from different applications, messages, and pictures to progress. Through the interface of a mobile phone, you must discover what happened to the owner. Experience relatable stories which can help build empathy with the characters, allowing to explore difficult topics and many different social issues. Kind of a neat puzzle game. Um, I'm trying to unplug from my phone as much as possible, so probably a pass for me. Now, Ghost 1.0, this is another one of my mentioned earlier on that... Um, you know, kind of in the 23 and a half versus 25 games. This is one we covered in, I believe it was either last week or the week before, is switch it up. Check them all out. They're all good. And this is a Metroidvania style game. It's $9.99. Looks like it was uh, delayed quite a little bit. You basically act as a robot hacker that needs to get into uh, the AI system, but something happens along the way where you start questioning the AI if they're really leading you into the best sorts of situations and who they really have in mind as far as uh, the type of um, assistance and guidance they're leading you. Ghost 1.0, 9.99, 7.19, 2018. Uh, I hope it's not delayed again because that's one I actually really want to play myself. Uh, if you like NES classics, arcade classics, the arcade classic City Connection is $7.99, comes out on the 19th. This is the classic Jellico game. Originally released by Jellico in 1985, girl Clarice drives Clarice's car and runs around the world in search of an ideal man. The Arcade Archive series has faithfully reproduced many classic arcade masterpieces, and this looks to be no different. Players can change different uh, aspects of the game, such as difficulty, and reproduce the atmosphere of arcade display settings during that time. You can also compete against each other from all around the world for your high scores in this remastered version of City Connection. Um, I have the NES version. It's a fun game. If you've never played it for $7.99, probably worth a download. Chicken Assassin Reloaded. Let's just... Chicken Assassin Reloaded. $7.99 comes out on the 19th. Chicken Assassin is a fast-paced action RPG with an outrageous storyline filled with over-the-top humor that boasts a myriad of colorful enemies and visually stunning levels and environments as you fight as a chicken that looks an awful like a young Sylvester Stallone, in my opinion. Prepare to give your hand an intense workout as you battle a slew of eccentric adversaries and encounter special bosses in this frenetically action-packed game. You play as Mean McAllister, the living embodiment of what would happen if you combine Rambo, 
that's the Sylvester Stallone, with Foghorn Leghorn, a battle of hot sauce, and a case of energy drinks together. When the evil mastermind Spritzel and his henchmen abduct your girlfriend, Candy, you embark on a frantic journey to save her, leaving mayhem and destruction all along your path. As you progress, you can upgrade Mean with various fighting styles and skills, access an arsenal of weapons to dole out punishment, and customize clothing that boosts your stat abilities. Buck, buck, mother cluckers. <laughs> I just said mother cluckers. <laughs> There are 10 epic missions where you can punch, slash, and shoot with Mean McAllister through glorious missions. I still can't get over saying mother cluckers. Over 450 unique items, visually stunning environments, and gorgeous art filled with hidden characters and Easter eggs are stuff belongs in a museum. Boss raids where if you feel like a challenge, take on special bosses along the mission path for special loot. Deep customization where you can mix and match different clothing and weaponry loadouts to boost and customize Mean McAllister's stats and overall look. Achievement system that rewards you with moolah that you can use to buy more stuff. And there's even a black market where it's good to know a guy who knows a guy who can get you what you need for the right price in this one player mother clucking game. Mother cluckers. <laughs> $7.99 for Chicken Assassin Reloaded. I'm going to try to get a hold of myself, really. Guts and Glory comes out on the 19th. No mother cluckers in this one. And uh, the objective on this one is simple. It's basically just a racing game where you need to beat the opponents to the finish line. In Guts and Glory, it is the craziest game show on earth where ordinary people compete in extraordinary challenges of life and death, all for glory. The objective is simple, race to the finish line while everything tries to kill you, you mother clucker. <laughs> I gotta have a counter going. Dodge spinning saw blades, deadly spikes, explosive turrets, and a growing list of other hazards while navigating insane tracks set in a wide variety of environments. The game is full of lulls. WTFs and OMGs where falling can be just as much fun as winning. Do it to preserve your awesomeness. Do it for the laughs. Do it for the glory, you mother clucker, you. Okay, I'm going to try to finish that no more. That is Guts and Glory coming out on the 19th. Um, now we have League Bowling. This is a Neo Geo re-release for $7.99. And basically this is arcade style bowling available now on the Switch. The great thing about it is it's faithfully reproducing what was available on the Neo Geo with those style graphics, the audio, and the animation style. You can play left or right handed it looks like. You even have beer frames in this arcade classic. The cool thing about it too is one, two, four players so it does have a multiplayer aspect. It'd be kind of neat if they had the motion controls of the Joy-Cons kind of configured in there. Probably going to be button presses though. Uh, $7.99 for the Aka Neo Geo League Bowling. Starship Avenger Take Starship Avenger Operation Take Back Earth comes out on the 19th, and this one is $4.99. In a distant future, when mankind has finally advanced to outer space, the Krius suddenly appeared out of nowhere and began invading humanity. Mankind's defense network in the solar system was no match for the overwhelming forces of Cirrus, and they were quickly defeated. It's basically a defense shooter action game where you can blast off the weapons installed on the Avenger to defeat the enemies who come to destroy mankind's ultimate weapon. You can power up the battleship and try to attain perfect shield and kill ratios in all stages. There are three different difficulties to choose from. Make it enjoyable for beginners to the advanced game player. So more tower defense, less shmup, but definitely looks like it has aspects of each. Now on the 20th. This is Hiroki, and this is $6.99 on sale for 30% off right now, up until the 19th. It's normally $9.99. Your peaceful sky village is now in danger. The dastardly Dr. N. Fortune and his accomplice, Vapor, have stolen the Emrex, a powerful amulet, and all hope may be lost. In this game, you'll fly into a beautiful action-adventure and save a whimsical world full of flight and fantasy. Master the wind to fly, freefall dash, and bash your way across beautiful 3D-rendered sky islands, jungles, seas, and deserts. This game features over 10 hours of deep gameplay where you can fly, free fall, and flight with the help of the wind and a propeller. You'll master new skills such as the powerful dash and bash attacks or use the power of the wind to solve puzzles. 
Spawn many power-ups such as shield, hourglass, aeroblade, and more, and you'll find hidden treasures and collect many items along the way. You'll meet and befriend a cast of friendly characters and face dozens of unique enemies and prepare for an epic boss battle. You'll discover a host of islands within your village to play mini-games in and side quests to earn special rewards. And best of all, it's 60 frames per second and also takes advantage of HD Rumble. This is Hiroki, $6.99 if you pre-order it, $9.99 normally. Now, also on the 20th, this is Void Space Racing, or VSR. And this is also on sale until the 19th, $7.99, normally $9.99. In a game that reminds me very much of F-Zero meets Wave Race, this game is not for the faint of heart. Impactful and challenging, VSR, Void Space Racing, gives you the opportunity to fly through vast and diverse locations in outer space and prove yourself worthy of the first place. Compete for the high score online, unlock new colorful stages by completing single race modes, and challenge friends in local multiplayer. You can drift in space like there's no tomorrow. There's no friction, you get online high scores, split screen multiplayer, unlockable spaceships, and exciting stages, challenging gameplay for racing connoisseurs, and an awesome soundtrack in this one or two player racing game. Again, this is VSR Void Space Racing, $7.99 on sale before launch, $9.99 after launch. And finally, we have two more coming up. This is Spheroids, and Spheroids is $7.99 and includes 40 Nintendo eShop coins. In Spheroids, you take control of Lucas, a jumpy Canadian boy who sets out on an adventure with his crazy scientist companion Otto after it's discovered that the government has been hiding an alternative universe from the cubic world they live in. Unfortunately, this alternative universe contains spheres that wish to turn everything around, so it's up to Lucas to save the world from these dangerous aliens the spheroids. Throughout the 32 different levels, you'll encounter many different environments with multiple hazards to avoid. There are even items such as the modified drilling hook that will help you traverse the environment with ease with many more different weapons found throughout. $7.99 here for spheroids. Really kind of neat animation, or not animation, just the, the, well, I guess it would be the animation, the character sprites and everything. Finally, this week, we have Werewolf Pinball for $1.99, so right, two bucks, and it is Basically, pinball on the Nintendo Switch, and for $2, you really can't go wrong. This is pretty much a no-brainer for me since I love the silver ball. I've been called Tommy from time to time. You can discover all the secrets, complete all the missions, and become number one in the world or the best among your friends, posting your high scores in the online leaderboard. You get multi-ball, extra ball, skill shot, and jackpox. And there are even four different cameras for you to choose from to kind of really give you that feeling of, hey, I'm playing a pinball game. And that'd be one of those things that'd be kind of neat to play in like the arcade bracket here uh, that I got from banggood.com. Make sure you check out our setup and review of it right up there where, you know, just to give you that tactile feature like playing a real pinball game. Werewolf Pinball $1.99 comes out on the 20th. Like I say, for me, it's a no brainer. Now coming next week, we're gonna cover things such as the Mega Man X Legacy Collection parts one and two, the Banner Saga part three, we've talked about the first two on here. Uh, what else do we have? Flashback looks to maybe finally be thinking about coming out. Hello neighbor, his name might be Mud. Second Les Claypool reference in one video. I like that. Um, so there are some really cool games coming up. That Mega Man X and X2 collection though, that's pretty much the big hitter for next week. Now if you do have any questions about anything that you've seen here today, or anything with the Switch or retro gaming in general, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also go ahead as always and email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. You can also hit me up on Twitter at rocksolidstudios or on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions. You can even go ahead, and if you haven't done so yet on our Facebook page, make sure you check out, and I'll have it linked down below in a pinned post, how you can actually win a Nintendo NES Classic Edition for yourself as we drive to 5,000 subscribers. Again, more information will be down in the pinned comment itself. Now, if you want, you can also help support the channel in a couple of different ways. First of all, we do have our Teespring store. If you want to get your hands on some t-shirts, go ahead and check us out there. You can also check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For just a dollar a month, you get early access to all of our video content, exclusive videos, one-on-ones, articles, and a whole lot more. Again, just a dollar a month. There's a couple of different tiers on there too. Want to welcome our newest Patreon supporter, JLove81. 
Thank you, I do appreciate my friend. Uh, and then don't forget to, like I mentioned in the intro, this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way each and every time you do go ahead and, or we go ahead and we have new content coming out, you get a notification on screen, on your phone, on your tablet, smart device via email to let you know, hey, there's a new video from Rock Solid Productions posted. So that is this week's Switch It Up. Oh. Almost forgot, we are getting towards the end of July here. All proceeds from uh, our Switch It Up videos will be donated to Gerardo and Camilla Gonzalez. I have their GoFundMe information on screen right now. Camilla, beautiful four-year-old little girl, she's fighting cancer. We are trying to help the family with some medical bills. If you can head on over there too and help them out as well, it would mean the world to me and to that little girl too. So make sure you head over to GoFundMe.com slash Camilla dash Gonzalez. Just a buck, two bucks, a couple bucks. Every little bit helps. So that is this week's episode of Switch It Up. 25 total releases when you cut down like Ghost 1.0 that we've talked about in a previous episode, along with uh, the two different versions of Let's Sing. You know, not quite that many, but still a lot coming out this week in the Nintendo eShop for the Switch. My name is Gary. This has been Rock Solid Productions. I thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.